What an exciting night at Williams Stadium. Thursday night football returning to Lynchburg for the first time in nine years, and the Liberty Flames did not disappoint. A fourth quarter come from behind win over fourth-ranked Coastal Carolina. Liberty wins it by the final of 24-21. to 21. Alongside Matt Camiri, my name is Nick Pierce. Matt, Flames trailing by four with three minutes, 59 seconds left. The senior quarterback, Josh Woodrum, comes onto the field and engineers one heck of a drive. Tell you what, that was the drive of his career, in my opinion, Nick. What an amazing job he did to direct his offense. The offensive line blocked. Everybody did their part, hit Petey with a big pass, and then, of course, the B.J. Farrow 40-yard touchdown. Just incredible drive. Yeah, hitting Farrow for the 40-yarder and a lot of yards after the catch as well. But let's go back to that fourth and nine play. I don't think anyone doubted that the Flames were going to go to Peterson right there. But still, to be able to execute that, that was very impressive. I, it's hard to put into words. It was such a great play. It was such a great call. We had seen Josh go over the middle a lot to the tight ends, to receivers, to Dez. But that catch and just the focus that he had to reel that in, because we had seen some drops, was just incredible. Flames did a lot of great things here tonight. They also ran the ball for 150 yards, which is what the goal Coach Gill had earlier this week. He said if the Flames get 150 yards more rushing, they were going to have a good shot to win the football game. But let's talk defensively here as well. Liberty, great job by the defensive line, starting with Chima Uzuwehe. All the pressure he was able to get in the backfield. The Flames stuffed D'Angelo Henderson, one of the best backs in, in Big South Conference history. Yeah, Nick, he did. Uh, the entire the entire defense played really well. Chima, again, uh, you know, he might have one of the best games of his career tonight. Uh, Nick Newman, the guys had a great job. Did a great job of containing Henderson. He had one long play. Had 89 yards rushing. One play at 71, so right. I think they got the job done tonight. Certainly an impressive job by the entire Flames team here tonight and had a chance afterwards to catch up with some of the seniors from the Liberty Flames. An emotional night, obviously, for a lot of those guys. This night is very memorable. Um, I'm going to remember all the guys, all the players, all the plays. The, the fans was amazing today. I'm just, I don't know, I'm going to just miss it. I mean, obviously the season didn't go as well as we planned, but – which, what better way than to finish the way we did? I'm just so ecstatic that, you know, I got to end my, my, my career, that I've had a great career, and I'm, I'm so happy that I could go out with these guys. There's, you know, I know the season hasn't been what we all thought it was, but, you know, I, I couldn't be more satisfied right now with, with how the season ended. I love all these guys, and um, I'm never going to forget this night. I'm just proud of the way this football team continued to work every single week, continue to believe. Uh, again, a couple bounces here or there didn't work our way throughout the whole football season. But uh, this football game, I think, showed our fans, uh, you know, this program is solid. Uh, we got good football players, and, and our guys going to play hard. They're going to represent God well. Uh, so I was very, very proud to, to see it end in a good way, and particularly even against Coastal Carolina. It makes it even sweeter. You know, Matt, you and I were spending a lot of time talking in the pregame show on radio tonight about the need for the Flames to go to the tight ends here tonight. Evidently, Aaron Stam, the offensive coordinator, agreed with us, or he just saw the need to do that in the <laughs> game plan. Nonetheless, they definitely got the tight ends involved tonight. Cannon Smith with uh, three catches for 63 yards. Will Johnson saw the end zone as well here tonight. How big were the tight ends? Oh, tight ends played a huge role in this game. You know, again, talking about it in the radio pregame show, last week I think there might have been two or three targets to a tight end. Tonight, I mean, Cannon Smith, three catches, 63 yards, huge. Uh, the Will Johnson touchdown, huge. Josh had great patience to roll out and find his big tight end in the corner of the end zone. Had to get them involved tonight, especially after not sustaining drives last week. They were able to use them tonight to do that. And then defensively, let's talk about Chris Turner. This guy can jump out of the gym, so to speak, as they would, as they would uh, say. But uh, Chris getting up for that interception there and a big spot to, to come away with the pick as well. Absolutely. It looked like he was at our shoulder height when he was up <laughs> in the air on the replay. Fourth interception on the year. I think everyone he's had has made an impact in the game, a big impact late in the game. Uh, that w interception was just incredible. Huge, huge shift in the game. And from then on, we were, you know, the offense was doing work. And he's just a freshman. I mean, yeah. Exciting <laughs> things to come from him. <laughs> Keep that in mind. There, there was a blend of freshmen, seniors, just everyone making plays out here tonight. All-around team win for the Flames. One of their best performances of the year, no doubt about that. And a great crowd on hand here tonight as well, nearly 19,000 to see it. Absolutely. Sea of Red, Liberty students, best student section in all of FCS football. Did a phenomenal job getting loud when Coastal had the ball, staying silent when Liberty had the ball. Just an incredible job by the end of the night. They were in the game the entire time. Well, the Flames finished the season at 6-5. and five. 
And obviously, Coastal Carolina moves on now to the FCS playoffs. But uh, Liberty certainly with a lot of positive momentum to take into the offseason heading into next year. For Matt Kamiri, my name is Nick Pierce for the Liberty Flames Sports Network.